how do we dismantle a mega structure like this, the size of two football fields, in a period of just four months? How do you do it without any errors or breach of safety measures? How do you do it without disrupting the operations of nearby establishments? Impossible. You would think so. It's just being done by the team of Terra Group. March 2017. The Terra Group has been awarded by Will Losh to dismantle a plant that belongs to one of the biggest oil and gas companies in Southeast Asia, Petronas. Their job? To get a megastructure, a complete PVC plant, cut out part by part, packed and shipped from Malaysia to India within just 150 days from start to finish. In technically demanding assignment like this, there's no room for error, as this will cost costly downtime to our projects and to our clients. Moving megastructures from one part of the world to another in a short time span is an engineering feat only a few dare to take up. From the word go, we had two main focus, safety and speed, and we would not compromise any of this. Terenganu located in the eastern coast of peninsular Malaysia, is an industrial and petrochemical hub. There are huge petrochemical complexes near Paka and Kerta. The project started in Kerta, where the PVC plant was situated. A massive project of this size needs to get a lot of clearances from authorities. At Terra, we handle all the documentation in-house to make sure when we hit the ground, there are no delays. I must say, we have a very good team which can handle all necessary documentation in a professional and accurate way. As the decommissioning project started, the first job in hand was to get the containers delivered to the site. These would be necessary to load onto the ship the small loose items such as cables, pipes, instruments, gadgets, pumps, and control panels. The equipment for dismantling as well as machinery such as cranes, forklifts, skylifts, scissor lifts, and scaffolding reach the site soon. Planning at every stage is crucial to ensure project viability and cost control. We have planned every step and every process in extreme detail. The next step was to barcode every component of the plan. This was done before the cutting work commenced, based on the isometric drawings provided by the plant owners. Our objective was twofold. To dismantle the plant and also to make sure it can be reassembled successfully. Therefore, every procedure had to be correctly coded and documented for the reassembly team. Once the barcoding was completed, the dismantling work started at a feverish pace. Close to 120 workers were employed at the site to conduct the dismantling process. Since the site was being deconstructed with heavy machinery in a tight area, safety was a major factor for the team. A small mistake by anyone could lead to a fatal accident. Safety on the site for our workers was critical. We will never compromise on it. All crews were qualified with CIDB or Construction Industry Development Board permit as well as oil and gas safety passport. In-house training from NIOSH or National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health were conducted to fulfill all safety requirements. All contingency plans were put in place like fire and chemical safety. With the help of the safety officer, daily checks and balances on the ground were conducted to ensure zero tolerance towards non-compliance. We managed to pull off this huge project without a single accident, not even a small incident. That speaks a lot about our safety practices.
Once the plant was completely dismantled, it was now time for the shifting activity to start. Among the dismantled items, there were some oversized and heavy units, such as reactors, vessels, tanks, and silos, some of them close to 8 meters in diameter. After conducting detailed route survey, the best possible route was identified to transport these oversized items from the project site to Kimamin Port. The journey started at around 2300 hours with police escort and arrived at the storage yard the next morning around 0800 hours. It took the team 9 hours to complete the journey of 45 kilometers. Removal of traffic lights, electricity, and telecommunication cables, tree trimming, road leveling, and high-tension cables shut down were executed during the convoy. Being there on the ground is critical for the success of such a project. You must be aware of all the on-ground issues and be prepared to tackle them immediately. Finally, it was time to lift the cargo into the ships. The port of Kurta Kimaman, located around 32 kilometers from the plant site, was selected as the embarkation port for the cargo to set sail. The heavy cargo would travel to DG Port near Mumbai in India, its final destination. Close to 16,000 freight ton cargoes were loaded and shipped with two separate break bulk vessels. All loading and lashing activities of the cargo were supervised by the team to ensure the cargo met all loading requirements and was shipped successfully. This project is a great example of teamwork. Without teamwork and understanding, such a mega project cannot be accomplished. With the successful decommission of the PVC plant in Terengganu, Terra Projects and Shipping has proved once again their technical expertise in moving specialized goods, covering cargoes from different industries like oil and gas, automotive, electrical and electronics, manufacturing industries, and many more. On sea, on land, or by air, Terra Projects and Shipping is a name you can trust.